can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. 63, the second set of the... The second question of the second set in chapter 5, uh, this question really tests you on your knowledge on finding the moment around an axis. Right? This is a very simplified version because we're still using the uh, XYZ coordinates instead of a random uh, axis that's going to an arbitrary direction. So for this question, um, we're trying to, as we know, you know, by this time, we have developed enough practice that you know we will find a moment we're trying to get rid of as many unknowns as possible right so over here we can see that you know if we use the y axis we can get rid of the e and the d right uh, before everything let's draw a quick a simplified version of a Free body diagram. So there's a force over here. This is the normal force. A uh, normal force. The two two wheels on the back, right? E and D. And over here, here is the force of F, the front wheel. And over here, there's a force of A right on the axis, and the force of C, and the uh, force of I'm not going to draw the coordinates, uh, you get the ideas, but I mean, you do, you are required to draw it on a real test. But here, to save time, this is what we're going to have. Right, so if we use the y axis, we can tell that, you know, these and these are gone because they're acting on the axis. You know, if you think about axis of the particle, then, you know, it's, uh, you know, this force does not generate any moments on this point. So, if we use the sum of the moment of y axis, then it will give us the. Um, so we have to use b um, times the distance, and the distance over here is four feet. So the force of b times four feet plus the force of c. Uh, times four feet and the plus the force of A times this is how many forces over here uh, that's seven so it will be seven feet over here and the last forces which is at F right D and E are canceled because they are on the axis and this is um, minus force F times, well, there's 20 uh, plus 3 plus 4, that will be 27 feet, right? Uh, you might wonder, you know, uh, why this is a minus, right? This thing, this over here is a minus and everything else is a plus. Because uh, moments works still, if you work around an axis, um, they still apply the uh, Counterclockwise is the part of it is still applicable, right? So if you look over here, C is making the you know making a moment around the y-axis like that, right? And going this direction, if we're using our eyeballs over here to look at it, right? Then this is a counterclockwise direction, and therefore this is positive, right? But look at F, right? F is going going to make a huge. I'm not going to mess up the graph. So making a huge circle this way, and if we're using the eyebrow eyeballs to look at it from this direction, it is the clockwise direction, right? Because it's going to the right, right? Um, so yeah, that's why this is negative and everything else is positive in this direction. And uh, in the end, force of F, force at F should give you. Um, one uh, thirteen point seven uh, kilo pounds or kip. And fun fact: kip is the currency in Laos. And after this, we are moving down. So we found out what um, F is, right? And next, we can use the uh, axis of x, right? 
um, we can't use z obviously because there's no force that's going uh, going this direction so it's not gonna you know make it go like that so we're gonna use uh, if we're using the x-axis well then we cancels out the force at a and the force at f so we'll be using c b d and e right c b d and e so the force of the sum of the moments oops uh, at the x axis over here well in this case um it would be eight thousand so we use b we do it from from this uh, this side this side uh, we use b so that's eight thousand pounds uh times the distance which is from here to here that's six feet right over here so that equals uh, six feet and it's positive as we know before or as we mentioned before right it's moving the thing into this direction right it's going here and making a circle so this way is the counterclockwise which is positive right which is we say is positive and also c uh sorry so minus six thousand uh, pounds times uh, let's see the direction here is eight eight uh, feet well yeah because this is going to this direction uh, this direction so this is going down in this way so that's making a counterclock I mean clockwise so this is negative and force at the force at D Right, force ID is positive. I mean, sorry, force ID is a negative, right? Because D is going upwards and is going to make a circle like that. And that is negative, right? It's because it's clockwise. So minus N, that for, I mean, the normal force at D, and that is 8 plus 16, um, the distance from the axis which is 8 plus 6, which is 14. Sorry, got zoned out for a second. And um, plus normal force at E, that is going this direction, which is uh, counterclockwise. That is also 14 feet, right? Um, this is pretty relatively easy because uh, these things just cancels out this whole thing. This gives us a zero, right? And this whole thing gives us zero. So now, if you simplify the equation, uh, nd times 14 gives you ne uh, times 14. And you cancel 14, you know, divide by 14 by both sides. Well, you proved that ne equals nd. Well, this is awesome because uh, we'll make our uh, situation. I um, mean, the next equation a lot easier. And the next one, we're just going to use the sum of the forces in the z in the uh, z direction, like that. Um, so we're just adding a bunch of forces together. Uh, we'll have the well, we can say that the z direction going top is the positive. Uh, well, therefore, there's the force at D uh, plus the force at E and the force at F, right? And minus the eight thousand uh, minus six thousand and uh, minus the forty five thousand pounds right uh, simplify the equation as we proved over here ND and NE equals the same thing right over here so and also we found out what F is right so we can plug it in here well this will be a lot easier uh, get rid of this. Yep. so this will be equal to just say 2e or 2d doesn't matter, matter because they're the same you know plug into one of those uh, plus 13.7 uh, kip right and all of this you know all of this are negatives if you move to the right side of the equation uh, it would just be positive over here and that should give you, let me put in my calculator, oh, I already have it, so it's uh, 45, uh, 
1,259 pounds, right? And you minus, I'm sorry, wait, oh yes, uh, yeah, sorry, this is the, the number after you minus uh, this 13.7. All right. Yeah. So this this whole thing when it becomes positive minus the 14 uh, 13.7 kip should give you this amount. And you have 2e, so divided by 2 by those size. So the normal force at e should give you 22.6 uh, kip. Right? And that's e and as we proved earlier, the normal force at d and the normal force at e are similar. So that also means, I'll just write it over here, and uh, n d is also equals to um, 22.6 kip. Right. Sorry for my handwriting. I am just got this writing path. I'm still trying to get used to it. Um, so yeah, here are your answers. And um, over here, there's another answer. Sorry. This Looks like a B. Let's get rid of that. Here we go. And yeah, hopefully this video was uh, thorough and I was able to explain the key concept for this problem. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.